Ooh. A screen with absolutely nothing on it. Oh, is this like the startup for the PlayStation 5? Hell yeah. Give me hey that everyone, crash. I'm Lou Stutter, producer of Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. First, okay. we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting awesome. platforming that we all fell in love with. And then, we Can wanted we to introduce exciting... Or is this going to break There's everything? Exciting yeah. new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years oh, ago. Oh man. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original yeah. games. All while also delivering bigger, more with awe inspiring dimensions recently. to explore. I've been waiting for my ISP to give me my new modem, but they haven't yet. So Those original thank you for the sub. All while also delivering bigger, more awe inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, <laughs> you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that, also comes new additions to the platforming like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker Am jacket when riding a motorcycle. No, I'd that like seems to see like some a natural stuff. area for us to expand upon. Nothing in particular. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. This is the first These skins thing, are totally yeah, cosmetic sure. and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button, Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you, or Lonnie Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. What we can tell you today though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you okay. can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. Okay. It's also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. But that's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see oh, you that you'll be Neo taking Cortex. control of Neocortex. Weird. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Weird. And a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by the Crash witnessing series. the destruction Sunflare. of said I beloved agree. diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Always had a special place in my heart. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump-a-berry-fueled take on a mirror mode. 
Not only are perspectives shifted, this. but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel. Of the I experience. really don't like the look of that. One dimension this one's asking cool. you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with that spinning paint this all one's over the fine environment too. to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Once unlocked, oh, players weird. can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there, a reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experience is in store for them. So that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited Experience for Experience the it. space and time-bending madness on October 2nd. Today's state of play is loaded with third-party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay too. We open the show with an about all new look at Crash 4. In the Avengers. It's about time, coming to PlayStation 4 Ooh, on Hitman October 3. 2nd. Now let's keep the party going with the latest from IO Interactive. Hi, Kitty. Are you also excited for the new Hitman game? Besides, this is your big day. You should clingle. Have fun. Oh, don't worry about that. My art speaks for itself. Well, I have to go. I'll call you when I get back to PlayStation VR. I don't know that I would want to play Hitman in VR. Although it would be a completely different way to do it, for sure. Interesting. Okay. Not actual gameplay. Braid? Wait, what? Are they doing like a braid too? Oh, anniversary edition. Okay. Fair enough. Was it 2008? Holy crap. We are happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brushstrokes animating the world. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, oh, programming, that's and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a really good resource. We hope you'll enjoy the game when it comes out early next year. Okay. Cool. 
fair enough. The Pathless. The Pathless is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the Hunter. The Hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the Pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. Mm. I hope they're gonna show more than this. It's neat, but this is, I wanna see some, what you're going to be doing. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is okay. central in the pathless. Sure. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Makes sense. I mean, yeah, it's neat looking traversal stuff. What if Make Sonic sure you but pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. Always keep your eagle clean at home. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. I guess. Don't know that they'd be secrets if you know where to look. That was Collecting cool. crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. How can she flap? You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. This is a the puzzle Pathless game. is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. Oh. It even shows you where you've been. Okay. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. Climbing towers? Ubisoft, are you taking notes? You haven't done towers Giant in a long spirits. time. Giant spirits. The source of the darkness will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Okay, this is what I wanted to see more of. Like, the bosses and combat and stuff like that. Oh no! Eagle buddy! This is neat. Oh, it's more stealthy. Stay still thing. in the light to avoid detection. Hmm. Its vision is based on movement. You won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. Okay. Risks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. See, this is pretty neat. Mixing the like movement stuff with like catching up to basically your prey. That's cool. That's a nice little payoff to their movement system they've designed.
Hunter and Eagle will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. This definitely doesn't look like something I would pick up right away, but like, if I'm looking for something to play because I don't have anything already, this looks like it would be pretty enjoyable. Like, it looks fine. <clears throat> Oh, Spelunky 2. Oh my god, give me a date, give me a date, give me a date, give me a date. Next up, let's see what's in store for Spelunky 2. Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. In space? <laughs> It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience Is in that first called place. Spelunking? If you're doing it in space? So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, so that more people can play the game together. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community into that Spelunky online to itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's going to feel a lot more full. Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of new ways. For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys, and find hidden passageways, I really hope and that it, it doesn't feel bloated. Paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. Man, we should be playing Spelunky again. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have interesting runs that don't even go past the first area. In Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. Sure. So in Spelunky 2, we've game. expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. Oh, And weird. also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Like doorways to different... Given how amazing the Spelunky arts. community oh. is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. Yeah, it's true. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push What's past the boundaries replicate? of what we, <gasps> oh, as the developers, that's know a game changer the game. for the shrines. I have two types of for favorite the sacrifice stories shrines. from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. And second, the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. They're really what guided my design choices. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky oh, I'm so 2 comes excited out, I want players to experience this. what we experienced oh. making it. That feeling that there's something special there waiting for you to discover it. A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. It's Give been a long date. journey, but I think it's going to be worth it. Give me a date. Thanks. Derek, you, you son of a gun. Yes! We did it. We did it. That's the day after your birthday? Nice. We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. That is definitely an anime girl. Oh hey, it's a better hey, looking Breath of the Wild. Something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look.
This is nice looking. I will probably never play it. I deal in death. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, speak my name. What is this disturbance to which I awaken? Huh? Think you can get away? Burning kiss? Time for takeoff! In autumn. Okay. The Void Armada. Who are you to stand in the way of my vengeance? Yo. This ambition of yours, what a waste of stardust. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Honestly, this looks like a weird Warframe, like, rip-off of some sort. I really dig this art style as well. I think it's very cool. But it looks like it's an RPG, like a JRPG or something. Aeon must die. Okay. I'll look more into that at some point. Okay, this is actually up my wheelhouse in uh, like a 2D kind of hack and slash game. Okay. This looks kind of dope, honestly. December. Okay, PS5, here we go. Oh, it's this weird it's time to game. talk bug snacks. Bug Let's snacks. check out some gameplay footage captured from PS5. This stuff is my invitation is as open. Hell. Come join me on the island of bug snacks. Wow. That's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist! Don't tell me you actually believe this half-baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, you're out of a job! You're the journalist! Esbert said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Is it just me or is the audio just like Ranger, I could weirdly off? This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to leave and it has been like this whole time. I want you to Just use a that little journalistic bit. instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. Muppet Anything Monster Rancher. Pops. How's my little sprout doing? He misses Papa. Oh, of course he does. Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. You're pretty good at stuff, and nobody hates you yet. I wonder if I... You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Let's try reloading the stream. There's 
there's Man, a lot more in is. store. Let's start with an update on an eagerly awaited PlayStation VR game. Vader Immortal. Is strong with you. You must stop Vida. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. There's nothing surprising about the idea of a VR Sith Lord simulator. <laughs> That's not at all surprising. Whatever you do, stay in the light. Wait, new control stuff? 505 games. Holy shit. Are we finally going to get the new DLC? New DLC. Please. Oh, I'm so ready to go back into control. Fuck. August 20. Oh my god. Alright. 20 days. Holy shit. Okay. What's this? Is this an auto ch another auto chess? Okay, what's the what's the impetus for this auto chess? Wait, is this Dota? Those are those look very much like Dota uh, characters, but like more kid like. Oh yeah, it is. So auto chess is the. Uh, offshoot of Dota's Underlord. So Dota owns Dota Underlords, but because Auto Chess started in Dota, all of the Auto Chess characters look like Dota characters for people that don't know. That's why it was like, oh, okay. Auto Chess is fun. Looks like a cute little puzzle platformer. Kind of a neat idea. That looks totally cute. I kind of like the look of that one. PS5. Now here let's we go. take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Okay. We are the forest shadows. Ghosts running Ghosts. silently between the straight, cold lines of a corrupt state. Another focus home interactive title. They count, ration, manipulate. There's a wolf in the night and he's talking They've taken everything from those they claim to protect. When the statesmen ravage Authority and steel will not stop us. We aren't an invading army. The forest will be right 
This could literally be anything. Bypass defenses and strike at the heart. The ghost of the forest, the rain set. You won't pick twice, you'll be by your side. Man, could you imagine if they made a Dark Alliance too? Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, I guess three, because I think they did make a Dark Alliance too. People call us heroes. From the day of night. It could even be a boat. To Three. others, we are rivals. Oh shit, it's an ambush. Get F, other team. So this is a PvP game? We are all outlaws. It's called Hood. But some of us will become legends. Dude, I could go for a new gauntlet. That would be dope. From the day. Um, I'm gonna keep thoughts to myself about that one until I see a little bit more. Tempt him. This game is great. What a good game. I really don't want to go back to Temtem until they have a lot more figured out there. It's such a bummer, like, not having a full game. You avoided everything about Temtem? Yo, do you like Pokemon? Because Temtem is Pokemon. <laughs> now you know. the only thing you know then you know <laughs> before we wrap up let's take a tour of godfall we've got new ps5 gameplay for this melee focused action epic launching man this they are holiday. really pushing godfall i mean it looks fun combat overview okay Hello, my name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Okay. Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. I mean, he's saying you all the right the things to get me pace, excited. Playing alone or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Okay, so three Godfall players. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. And fire. Wow. Godfall Called is it. a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions. No waiting for content. It's all in the game on day one. Dope. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight. A godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. This is melee warframe. Throughout your journey, <laughs> by the sounds of ancient it. valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. 
we wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third-person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear-driven and one part player skill-driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you That's dominate what they told me the at combat work. space, always not be the moving. enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. The more I see about this game, the more In I Godfall, actually kind of want to play There are five it. weapon classes. The longsword, the dual blades, the polearm, Give me a great sword of some sort. The two-handed warhammer. Ooh, okay. And the two-handed great sword. Dope. I'm in. Each weapon class has their own unique move sets and play styles, ranging from fast combos Give me to a more strategic You're looking for a monster play. hunter. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each weapon with their own primary and secondary traits. At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes Imagine playing and dual how to blades. modify them in greater detail. For now, we'll go over the dual blades and the longsword weapon classes. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, is this coming targets to PC? or single targets. Or you can perform a combo by executing four consecutive blades. Yeah, this attacks. is coming to PC. Fucking A. I'll play this. The dual heavy attack 100%. is a spinning blade cyclone. The blade cyclone can also be used as a finisher at the end of your light attack combo. In fact, it already has an epic game. So what are the signature moves store. for the dual blades? As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual blades, which inflicts massive damage in a short period of time. There's also mortal coil, where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you like pulling a cable. Now let's switch to the longsword weapon class. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, longswords have their own four hit light attack combo. Then there's the Heavy Attack Finisher, which can be used at the end of your Light Attack combo. There are three signature moves for the Longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, Show which me two-handed weapon in a attacks, you fucking cowards. Notice there's a white flash after a Longsword swing called a Timing Attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. Of course you can. You can perform a light attack after Every a video last game in the last shield block five to counterattack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. Oh hey, you can Captain America. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. Pretty dope. Okay. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. And of course, honestly, the shield seems cooler than the longsword you pair with it. That were knocked down to the ground. <laughs> Oh, show me the Warhammer, you cowards.
It's probably a design choice, but I'm always a fan of being able to see enemy health bars. So I kind of hope that in the final product, there is something to indicate how much health an enemy has. They may not because I know stylistically a lot of games like to not tell that stuff to the player, but I really like seeing all that stuff. We hope stuff. you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. Especially we also in want to thank games. all the fans for their endless support since our like, initial Like I like seeing back my loot get better we have a few and more my surprises coming ability down the to road, chunk down such enemies Such as details get on better. loot and progression and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this game. Also, the fact that it's on uh, Windows means That's that I'm not going to have to buy a PS5. We hope you enjoyed this peek into the future of PlayStation. See you next time. Yeah, they still didn't give me a real reason why uh, I should be buying a PlayStation 5. I knew I knew I wasn't going to get that from this because uh, this state of play specifically was about third party uh, contractors or whatever. Like uh, third party PlayStation stuff. So I knew I wasn't going to get, oh, the killer app you need to get a PlayStation 5 for. But I just still haven't seen the one to get the thing to get a PlayStation 5 for at launch. You know, I hope I I hope we get one, but so far, I'm loving the fact that every big thing is coming out to Game Pass on P and on PC from Microsoft. PlayStation doesn't have anything exclusive I really care about. Um, it's a good time to be a PC gamer. <laughs>